What's up everybody, LUI here, salute you, whatever you are. What you're looking at is my Facebook fan page. Uh, I post some pictures from my Instagram, so I enjoy to subscribe to both. Anyway, yesterday I posted this picture right here, Big Grammy, and this is a quote said by Big Ronnie Coleman, eight time Mr. Olympia himself, basically giving props to this new guy, Big Grammy. So he says, props. Uh, I like this new guy, Big Grammy, and he's a real impressive guy especially for his age. He's 28 for the unaware. If anyone out there can ever come in over 296 horsepower in shape at a normal height, not 6'4", it is him in a couple of years. So if somebody can come at 296 uh, pounds dry, it is definitely him and nobody else because he is a sight to be seen, right? And that was another quote by another pro in that uh, magazine I'm talking about. A muscle development magazine of this month i think it is sean ray he said literally that these guys this type of guys we only see them every 15 years or so and the last big guy that we see, we saw was dorian yates and he thinks that uh, the advent of big grammy is even bigger than that of dorian yates right uh, of course he is competing he was competing uh, back in the 90s versus yates and never was able to beat him and i think he is referring to dorian yates in 1993 right this uh this phenomenon right here now granted in 92 even though he went he won his first mr olympia versus kevin levroni in helsinki but it was a close call so next year bro look at the gains he made he gained like a freaking hour like 15 dry pounds he was a huge he was a sight to be seen i mean he was definitely ahead of the game nobody was able to basically touch uh, this condition he was just too big too hard you name it uh, the rest of the field had no chance so he is referring to this uh sight right here now let's go back to big Remy uh real quick now big Remy has the size no doubt about it he's crazy the proportion are just amazing he has not a single uh, weak uh, body part i mean his calves look small but then again it's because his thighs are i mean gigantic of course i mean that those are world class but the 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 the, the lags the last time we saw this was like freaking ronnie coleman for god's sake but in my opinion uh, his big issue is this right here here you can see him next to his trainer namely dennis the menace james one great trainer and he's been interviewed in english by this all max guy after he won uh, the New York Pro, if I'm not mistaken. Now, his English is less than perfect, to be honest, right? This year, uh, according to his trainer, Dennis James, is going to come to the U.S. two months ahead of Mr. Olympia. So right now, he is already in the U.S. And he's training him to prepare him for the show. And he said this time of the year, he will definitely get more shredded. So we will see the best shape of him, the, the best condition ever. But that's not enough, Dennis James, with all due respect. The problem of, uh, of, of, of Rami is him being uh, eloquent, being presentable in a sense, selling uh, his personality, not only his physique. He needs to develop a charisma. That is what Mr. Olympia is all about. Hence, when the career of uh, the ex reigning Mr. Olympia, namely Jay Cutler, was in decline, the IFBB literally invited over Kai Green and Phil Heath to do an interview with them. They were probing them in a sense. They were probing and testing the water to see who has the better charisma, the better personality to sell bodybuilding to the general public. Both have great physiques, don't get me wrong. In 2012, Kai Green could have been Mr. Olympia, right? His physique was outstanding and nobody would have basically uh with the wine about it because both were great but they need to give it to somebody who is consistent and somebody who is eloquent and he has charisma and that is actually phil heath so that's why phil heath is is winning and aside from uh the fact that his opponent loves uh fruits if you know uh, uh what i mean so that's what i'm talking about he needs to learn uh this right and uh, Hans, I'm going to give you another example real quick. Another dude who basically suffered from his charisma is the late Nasser El Sambari. He's Egyptian, just like Big Rami. The thing is, he was whining against the 
Dorian Yates and IFBB has a big mouth. So he never won for that matter. I'm going to give you another uh, example of another whiner in a sense. This dude right here, Sean Ray. He was nicknamed by Flex Wheeler Shauna Ray because he was a big mouth. He was always ranting. Hence, you can go ahead and see the video. Uh, 1996 battle for the Olympia, he was literally ranting versus the IFBB. Now, how on earth can you rent versus uh, Joe Weider and the IFBB and expect them to crown you Mr. Olympia? That is absolutely nonsensical. So this is the only way for Big Grammy to be uh, Mr. Olympia. Perfect his physique, granted, come in more shredded, build in some more quality muscle, uh, maturity, and uh, build your personality. He needs to move out from Kuwait and uh, uh, move to the US. It is your only way. There is no way in hell for you to become Miss Olympia if you do not align two words in English uh, properly, right? And then he might reach uh, uh, this level. I'm gonna show you a picture if it is uh, still available right here because it was a sight to be seen. This picture right here, Dorian Yates winning versus Flex Sweeter. Flex was very good, was one of the best physiques ever in 1993. The thing is, he was a party bird. He was hanging out with the likes of Dr. Dre in the West Coast, driving fancy cars, having a reckless life. Hence, in 1994, he had a severe accident in his car, uh, the, the Mercedes-Benz, and he destroyed his career was never able to come back. IBB will never crown a guy who is inconsistent, who does not represent the store proper, uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, basically the discipline properly. I was about to say sport, and that's what's up. Flex Wheeler was not training uh, properly. He was paying trainers and he was just chilling with them. Uh, after the gym, he was eating some fries with ketchup. That's not the image they want to represent. Dorian Yates was serious. He's very charismatic. And he was very athletic with a back larger than the Atlantic, bro. Don't forget to like the video if you agree on it daily and salute me.